Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kini Talks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. I post cool videos all the time. In this episode, I'm going to talk about using the AKG Lyra USB microphone with a smartphone for audio recording, audio recording for your videos and any other purposes as well. When you open the box of the AKG Lyra, you also get a few pages of notes, instructions and all that kind of stuff. Now, one of the instructions over here clearly states that note Android mobile devices may require an OTG adapter cable, which may be used in conjunction with the cable provided with the microphone. So this is the cable here provided with the microphone. It is a regular USB to USB-C cable. And it also says for iOS mobile devices, you may require an Apple camera adapter. Now that's a little different. Let's get to that. So let's talk about the Android side. It says you need an OTG cable, which means that if you have an Android device, which is using a micro USB or a USB-C port, you need to find an adapter where you can connect a regular USB to your Android device. So that's basically a micro USB or USB-C to regular USB port adapter. Now for iOS mobile devices, it's a little different. You need an Apple camera adapter, which is basically this one over here. The difference here is it comes with a lightning pin over here which connects to a regular USB port and a lightning port as well. Now iOS devices are not designed to power a microphone like this, maybe to safeguard the internals or the battery, who knows. But if you use this cable, you are supposed to plug in uh, a power source over here with, a, with another lightning cable and this is what's going to power the microphone. So let me just do the connections over here for you now. I have connected the cable that I've got from the AKG Lyra, uh, the USB-C side over here, the regular uh, USB side over here. I'm going to connect this to my iPhone. I will unlock it now. And I get a message on my iPhone saying that AKG C44 USB microphone, this accessory requires too much power. Which means that your iPhone can't power the microphone and it won't work. So you need to take a power adapter. I have a 5 amp brick over here and plug it into the lightning side. Now my iPhone has begun to charge and I can use the microphone without any issues. However, there's still one problem. As you can see, I have connected a studio monitor headphone to the AKG Lyra. And using the 5 amp brick, from my experience, I've used this a little bit. The uh, studio monitor headphones don't get enough power. You can, you can start recording audio, but you can't hear anything in the monitors. So what do you do? Well, you get rid of the 5 amp cable and bring in a 20 amp wall brick. This is something that I got with my iPad and I'm connecting a USB-C to lightning cable to the uh, wall brick now. This one, if I connect it over here, all right, with this, I can power both my microphone and the studio monitor headphones, and it works perfectly. The difference here is five amps is not sufficient. It is enough only to power the microphone and charge your phone a little bit, the 20 amps wall brick does a good job of uh, powering up the microphone, giving enough ample power required for the studio monitors and powering your iPhone as well. So this is a setup that you need to use a USB microphone with your iOS device, in this case an iPhone XS. Thank you so much guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments below, we'll interact over there. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and let me know what do you feel and what are your opinions on it. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Stay safe.